case is the perfect choice for professionals who want to become an invaluable application security engineer. While designing case, we focused on solving all of the problems that an organization faces while dealing with application insecurity. Our technology team spent many months of toil highlighting app security threats and countering them using the case program. We begin this program with SQL injections, the dread of an IT infrastructure team as it can be easily managed if one undergoes training in the case program, which categorically trains a candidate on how to code defensively. Then we cover various server authorization methodologies, manual application penetration testing, and tackle most, if not all, of SQL related threats across the secure SDLC framework. An entire module is dedicated to security requirements gathering. There, we learn about software assurance maturity models, SAM, which can steadily improve the software security posture of companies over time so that they can heave a sigh of relief once the engineers are case certified. Candidates will be extensively trained in various security software frameworks, including the BSI MM, and we also include sub-module on the intricate differences between BSI MM and Open SAMM. To ease the pressure of application security managers in Module 3, we teach secure application design and architecture. Here, we teach you how to enumerate external dependencies, entry points, assets, and trust levels. We also cover threat modeling in explicit details. The training starts from the basics and goes on to cover threat modeling phases, processes, and even consequential documentation of the same. In this module, we also cover other types of secure design actions, such as secure application architecture. The famous STRIDE model is thought to develop a candidate's competencies in identifying threats and categorizing them with suitable examples that you can apply in real life. Do you believe it is important for an aspiring application security engineer to be well-versed with the common threats on user authentication authorization. Therefore, input validation techniques become our focus next in this program. Authentication and authorization, as the name suggests, it covers relevant threats such as account hijacking, man in the middle attack, phishing attacks, unauthorized access, information leakage, privilege escalation, and sniffing attacks. Our endeavor is to educate a case engineer in all aspects of application security, including a deep understanding of recent threats. In Module 6, the resurgence and increasing relevance of cryptography is discussed in detail as it is important skill that you need to have when applying for your next job interview. An entire module has been dedicated to secure coding practices for cryptography. It spans across the basics such as introduction to cryptography, cryptographic attacks, common threats on functions of cryptography, mitigation techniques and types of cryptographic attacks. It also teaches additional methods such as symmetric and asymmetric encryption as defensive coding practices against insecure cryptographic storage. It features important concepts such as cipher modes, including the vulnerabilities in using ECB cipher mode, hashing, digital signatures, XML signatures, and digital certificates. In chapter seven, we learn about error handling, which is a crucial aspect of secure coding and where most security lags happen, unfortunately. Developers are best friends with errors and exceptions, and mostly successful developers would help them like a pro. Case brings you an exhaustive module dedicated to error handling. You will learn how to monitor, prioritize, log, and audit most common yet deadly errors and exceptions. In chapter 8, we cover session management. You will be introduced to exciting chapters in session management such as cross type script attack on sessions, cookie based session management, token management, session hijacking, server side session management, among many more techniques that you must know and something that every software team must understand.
I haven't held to you a fact in such a long time. And I think it's now time that I should tell you this. The global open source services market is expected to grow from USD $11.4 billion in 2017 to $32.95 billion by 2022 at a compounding annual growth rate of 23.65%. Do you realize how much importance this places on the training of security testing techniques such as static and dynamic application security testing, commonly known as SAST? and DAST is huge. Utilizing our experience in being one of the world's leading cybersecurity training and certification bodies for close to two decades, we will be teaching SAST and DAST like no other. Beginning from the very objective of them to building the skills required for them, types of them, code review for about 50 unique test cases of them collectively, reporting of them in a professional manner and eventually understanding where secure code review fits in SDLC. We teach it all. The industry's need of the hour is a secure SDLC period. The final phase of SDLC happens to be the 10th and final module of case, secure application deployment and maintain. Let me assure you that a candidate with a case certification will exhibit a genuine understanding and expertise of secure deployment and maintenance. We begin that module starting with prior deployment activity to deployment activities, including the ability to ensure security at host level, network level, application level, IIS level, .NET level, SQL server level. With knowledge of sites and virtual directories, ISAPI filters monitoring, a case certified candidate will ensure application security in your organization like no other. We have kept a strict eligibility policy for anyone to be a case certified professional because we would like to uphold the brand of case with the technical integrity that it brings to the table.